Hey everyone, it's Rob from Hypop and welcome back to another video. In this one, we have the brand new, highly anticipated Foldio 360 Smart Dome. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this. Hit that notification bell to be updated on any new content we release. Leave a like in the video if it's helped you. Feel free to leave down in the comments section below your thoughts or if you have any questions about the Foldio 360 Smart Dome, follow us on social media at Hypop and visit our website, hypop.com.au. Let's get into it. So I've got with me the brand new Foldio 360 Smart Dome. So for those of you that don't know, Foldio is a product photography light tent. They're really popular for their original Foldio 2 and Foldio 2 Plus, as well as the Foldio 3 foldable light tents. They created Kickstarters, uh, for those of you that are aware, uh, that were really successful. So they've been, you know, a lot of people that have been interested in these products they've released. This brand new Foldio 360 Smart Dome is pretty much two of their main products combined. So you have the Foldio 3 or the Foldio 2, the light tent part, and also the Foldio 360, which is the product turntable. And they've managed to merge those two together to create this brand new product. So let's take a closer look at what's included. Alrighty, and there we have it. So this is the Foldio 360 Smart Dome packaging. You can see it's in a white box. Now the Foldio 360 Smart Dome is 12 inches in size. So it's approximately 30 centimeters or so. So it is quite small and it's more suitable for smaller type items, you know, little collectibles perhaps, or jewelry and things like that. So you do have to make sure that the products that you're taking photos of uh, will definitely fit inside the Smart Dome. Now you can see here on the side, there's a few features. Firstly, you have adjustable color temperature. So the lighting inside the Smart Dome can be adjusted from a cool white to a warmer color temperature. You also have automatic 360 shooting with one click. So that's through the Foldio 360 app that you can download on the App Store and the Google Play Store. You also have minimizing shadows with interchangeable covers. So there are covers, the front cover on the front of the Foldio 360 Smart Dome, which is included. Those were separate components for the Foldio 3 and the Foldio 2 Plus. So they've included that all in one package now that reduces reflections as well as the shadows. You also have shoot from multiple angles. So you're able to shoot from above and from the front of the actual tent too. So that's really useful, especially if you're trying to get different angles of the, the product you're taking photos of. You have a center position indicator. Now this is really important. So the Folio 360 previously, it didn't have a center position indicator. So that meant that if you place the product, you know, off center a little bit, when it's going around the turntable, sometimes it kind of moves out of position. So having this indicator is really important to get those nice smooth 360 photos and videos. And you also have upload photos with ease. So through the Foldio 360 app, you're able to upload this to host it on their own servers as well as share it um, you know, through social media or you're able to download it for your own purposes so you can place on your own website or social media content too. Now let's take a closer look at what's included inside. So it's got that nice packaging where it removes, it's a two piece packaging, the top removes there. And you've got firstly some instruction guides here on how to set it up. You've got the top cover here that's removable and you've got the Foldio 360 Smart Dome itself. Now you can see right away you've got the front cover here. This is detachable, it's actually magnetic which is nice. That just clicks into place you know, and it's sticking to that magnet design that they're popular for with the Folio 2 and the Folio 3. And you've got the top cover here which also just sits into place too. <clears throat> now you've got a massive user guide here. I think it's in multiple languages. Yes it is. So that's why it's quite thick there. So you've got the English on the front here. This little sheet is basically a quick start guide. And you have a little pouch here. You have the magnetic sliding front cover. So this sits on the front cover there. And you can see it actually, it actually slides up and down position. So that depends on when you're actually mounting a shooting device, whether it's a phone or a camera. Um, you can slide the position of this opening here uh, to suit your shooting device. And you have little triangular packages like this. that have 
the legs inside. There's three legs there. And the other package has all of the international plug adapters here. So you've got uh, the UK, you've got EU, you've got the US, and you've also got Australia. Yep, it's the power adapter here. So the power adapter is a universal power adapter. So you could slide in the adapter that you require based on the country that you're shooting in. So I have an iPad here and I've downloaded the Folio 360 app off the App Store. Launch the app and the first thing you'll need to do is to sign up for an account or log in if you have an account already. Now we've already got an account, so we'll quickly just log in. Okay, so now once you've logged in, the first thing you'll see is it says not connected down below and you need to select device and you'll be able to see the Folio 360 dome here as the device to select. And that light will actually flash. If you saw that really quickly, it flashed just to say that it's now paired. Now you have access to the entire app. So we're using this iPad as our shooting device at the moment, but we'll probably swap this over to a phone device once we start mounting it with the phone mount bracket here. Um, but just for connection purposes and showing you how to set up the app, you can see here on the bottom, you have six different options. Firstly, you have the speed that you can select the Folio 360 turntable on the inside to. You set it to one, two or three speed. Also the frames and the amount of frames that you'll be shooting when it's doing a full rotation. And you can select between 24, 36 and 48. Now the more frames you have, the smoother your 360 rotation will be. You also have the center indicator. The center indicator, if you have a closer look on the inside, you'll be able to see like a little target indicator, which are little LED lights that light up the center of the smart dome and that'll allow you to position your product perfectly while you're in there. Then you also have the rotation there and you uh, as the next option and then you have the lighting as your next option. Now the lighting you can see here can be controlled by the slider and as I'm increasing and decreasing this you can see that coming through. Now the neat thing about this is that the lighting is actually behind the walls on the inside here because the inside actually diffuses the LED lights so that allows it to have a nice soft light onto your product. No harsh lights, especially if you're shooting with reflective items such as this. So this one here is a bottle, uh, which would obviously show quite a lot of reflections, but because of the nice, even soft lighting on the inside, it's less harsh on the bottle itself. Now you have uh, control from zero to 100. So you can see it does get quite bright as you're doing that. And lastly is the color temperature. So you can see there we can slide between 2300 Kelvin, which is a warm orange color temperature all the way up to 5600 Kelvin, which is a natural daylight color temperature. Now for most cases, you'll be shooting at the 5600 Kelvin because you'd want it to be a natural daylight look. You don't want to skew any of the colors or give it a warmer hue. You want to represent the colors naturally in your product especially if it has neutral colors, like on the inside of this bottle, the label is white and it has a few neutral colors there. So you want that to be nice and accurate because if you were to use a warmer hue such as that, obviously your whites will come out a little bit warmer and, and you know, discolored and not exactly as they uh, are. So that's important to set the color temperature there. Now from there, once you've set all your settings, you are ready to shoot. Uh, and that depends on the type of shot that you want to take. So. In this instance, we're shooting a phone 360. So that means it's gonna be a phone that's gonna be taking, your, your shooting device is gonna be taking a 360 photo. Uh, you can select between a DSLR 360. So if you're shooting with a camera that uses an infrared sensor, then you've got a video 360. So that will obviously be a video format file rather than a GIF file that will be um, creating from this 360 shot. And then obviously you have a single shot too. Now you do have an option here that is turntable control and that basically just controls the 360 um, as you want to rotate it. So for example, if I want to rotate it 90 degrees, you can see that it's actually turning on the inside there. And you can control this manually as well. So if you want to continue rotating that, you can hold down on the right button or the left button. So you can turn it uh, you know, in any which way direction that you need. The, the product to start off. So for example, if you just need to rotate it to see the front there, I'm just controlling it manually there. So the label's facing the front of the dome. Now an optional accessory for the Folio 360 Smart Dome is the phone mount kit. 
Now the phone mount kit comes with three parts. You've got the ball head, you've also got a quick release plate. It's quite a long quick release plate, it's 99 mil. And you've also got a phone holder. So this is all made from an aluminium design. The phone holder is extendable there, so you can it fits most devices. And you've got that quick release plate there too. Now the great thing about this phone mount holder is that it's obviously a ball head too, so that means it supports most devices including a camera. So you can see there there's a quarter inch thread too. Now the only downside to this is the positioning of the phone mount kit. So you can see the phone mount kit is actually made to be positioned right at the front here. So depending on the size of your device, uh, it really um, depends on how you're going to be positioning it and getting the correct shot for your device. Now it's really made for phones specifically, um, which is why it's called the phone mount kit. And you can see at the back here how it's supposed to be positioned in front of the Foldio 360 Smart Dome. Now, the great thing about the phone mount kit is that it keeps your camera stable and acts like a tripod. So that allows you to maintain a consistent shot when you're taking that 360 uh, you know, photo or video. So to get this all together, basically you get the quick release plate and you slide that onto the ball head. Now that quarter inch thread there is where you'll be mounting your phone mount. So this phone mount here has two mounting points. It's got one on the back side here as well as on the bottom. And depending on how you're going to be mounting your phone, in most cases you can see here that it can be mounted um, in portrait mode. You'll have to reposition the phone bracket to suit. So in our case we'll shoot it in portrait mode also. That's probably easier to do uh, these two components first, so the quick release plate and the phone mount kit. And you can use a little screw thread here at the back to tighten. And slide that into place there. And I've just tightened that into the ball head. So you can see now once this is mounted, I'll be shooting vertically into the smart dome there. So, you, the bottom of the ball head is a 3 8 inch and we're using the thread adapter that was provided and we'll screw this on. Okay, so that's mounted now and what you can do is adjust some of these panning and you know release knobs for the ball head here to get the correct position for your phone or for your device. So here I've adjusted the pan that's centered now and also I've just released that ball head so I can maneuver this around perfect positioning for the device that I'll be using there you go now let's just grab a phone uh, to test this out okay so here's a phone here uh, and I'll be sliding that into portrait mode there now the most important thing to do here is to obviously position your phone all phones have different camera positions on the back of the phone here. So you can see on the iPhone here, it's towards the top right of the phone. And you need to keep that in mind when you're taking a shot, especially when you start using the front cover, because you can see the front cover here has the center position for the gap to shoot in. Um, so that's really important to adjust to suit, especially if you decide to use that front cover. now. Let's set this all up for the app to take our first shot. So let's take our first Folio 360 shot. We've swapped the product out here to a smaller product. It's a, a baseball. So you need to be mindful of the height of your product also. And you can zoom in and out as you can see, uh, but if you position this further back, so if you wanna get a little bit more of the product, say you've got a taller product, you can perhaps use a smaller tripod to position the device a little bit further back. Um, but you can crop in to make sure that you're only getting white on all your edges here and everything is looking nice and clean. Now the first thing to do would be to turn on the center indicator. So this center indicator will allow us to determine the correct positioning for a product and we'll turn down the light first just so we can make sure we get that perfect in the middle there. Okay, so I can see that on the inside that that's perfect now. Now we can turn back the lights so the lights will turn on here. And you can see the phone will adjust based on uh, you know, the automatic exposure that it's allowing. So even if you are at 100 brightness, it does look a little bit overexposed, but your phone will adjust to that. But from there, you can you know, find the sweet spot where you're getting rid of 
the back edge here of the light so that it's not showing the back edge of the 360 turntable. You can select the speed and also the how many shots. So we'll put it on 48 shots there. Uh, I'll put on the brightness at approximately 77 because that seems to suit. And also the color temp of the light. As we mentioned, we want to keep it at 5600 Kelvin because we have a white baseball inside there. You don't want to skew the colors because if you see, if we adjust the colors, color temperature, it's adjusting the actual color of the photo or video. So that's not what we want. We want it to be a daylight. And from there, we can take our first shot. So all we need to do is hit the shutter button. And it now says processing. So you can see there one of 48 and it will continue to take shots on your phone here. And because we've placed it on the center indicator, it's not rotating in a weird fashion. It's sitting right there in the center and it's getting you know, every single part of this baseball here and all the details as well. Okay, so that's now completed and it just went through the saving process there of all 48 frames, which is great. Now let's take a closer look at the photo that we've done. There you have it. So you can see we've managed to successfully take our 360 shot. Now what you'll notice is because it is a white product, uh, there are some parts that are a little bit overexposed. So the best thing to do there would be to fine tune a little bit more. Now this will differ based on the type of product you have. So if it's not a white type of product, then if it's a darker color, for example, it's a lot easier to fine tune the exposure as well as the brightness of the LED lights on the inside. So a few tips on how to do that would be to jump back into the camera mode here. And with the app itself, you actually have exposure when you slide up or down. So you can tap, tap to focus as you would with your usual camera app. And then you can slide up to increase the exposure and down to decrease it. Now that'll depend on you uh, and the type of product that you're shooting, uh, but that will be the sort of fine line between you adjusting the lighting to get rid, eliminate that rounded edge at the back there. So when we adjust the lighting there, let's try and eliminate that rounded edge and get a better shot. Let's keep it at brightness 83 and then adjusting the exposure as well. So you can see we've successfully done the 360 shot there and that's shot all 48 frames. You can see them individually there, which basically creates the entire image. Now you can also do further adjustments to the photo. So if you want to do adjustments after the fact, you can go in and adjust each frame. You can adjust the color temperature. Um, you can adjust the brightness of that shot too. So if you want to reduce the brightness and the exposure here for any particular reason for each individual frame. So for example, if one of the frames is slightly a bit too overexposed, we can make that adjustment. Let's go back and we'll start from scratch. So one of them, let's have a quick look. Now that looks all okay there so far. So you can do post-production post through the app and you can also fine tune before you take the shot, which is really great in terms of features for an all-in-one app that also controls the Foldio 360 Smart Dome. Now from here, if we're happy with everything, we'll just hit save and it will save the photo. And now you can share this or upload it to the service that they have here by clicking that share button and you want the 360 image url and pre press quick upload to share so you press quick upload and that'll generate a link that you can use to upload on your website to display that 360 image this smart dome is perfect for small collectibles jewelry or little small figurines perfect if it fits within its 12 inch size or approximately 30 centimeters. It really is a useful device. It takes amazing shots. Uh, it's an all in one device that you can use with a smartphone, a camera. Uh, it's also got a mounting kit. It's basically a foolproof product photography tent, especially if you're shooting smaller products that'll suit this size. So for more videos just like this, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, 
hit that notification bell to be updated of any new content we release. Leave a like. Also follow us on social media at HiPop and visit our website, highpop.com.au. Thanks for watching.